<laughs> G-Force, what's up? Who is waiting? G-Force is in here. Look at this. I mean, We're in the mall. We are in the mall. And never fear. We do have them. Masks are near. <laughs> but we are literally the only ones in here right now. So, what's up, everybody? What is it Phoebe's playing with? Uh... <laughs> Never mind, we can't say. She is playing with a Gutanama Tomagachi. A Tomagachi. The little fry, the little egg Tomagachi. No, it's Tomagachi. Tomagachi. Good morning. What's up? So yeah, we're trying to, uh, you know, we've been hanging out over at the old outside area, but there's a reason why we're in the mall. Uh, because there's nobody here. There's nobody here, but there's also a possibility of, of a chase at Hot Topic this morning. So, you know, they open in an hour or so. Kintown, nice. Nice. Awesome. Where did he ride his Harley? I missed it. Uh, he's over in Okinawa. Oh, nice. Man, riding a motorcycle, yeah, that would be really cool over there. Heck yeah, it uh, would. So yeah. Hey Andy, how you doing? Good morning. So we'll let a few more people come in, but I have things in a, a bag. bag to show him that he's not seen yet. So guess what? You guys get to see it too. It's a reaction live stream. It's a reaction. Oh, come on, Johnny Osage. Hi, Mary. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's probably putting a figure together. Is he? Yeah. A big one? Well, six inch. Oh, okay. He's probably doing another custom. Johnny Osage Avenue. Follow him on Instaham. Morning, Fab Disaster. What's up, Graham? And we did go early because, to be honest with you, um, you Ooh, never know who Green might. Who, you never know who might show up early and line up at a door. It's gonna be me. Hey, Seth. So yeah, I was watching uh, Darren this morning. Oh, you were up that early? Yeah. Can't do it, man. Not all the time. I think he's sending you something. He, he mentioned is. you this morning. He did. Yeah. Hi, Jeanette. Hey, Jeanette. I watch his stream when I'm uh, when I get home, so I'll watch it. Yeah, he got me a couple of stains from uh, the Fun U UK Funko site. Oh, okay. Cool. I was like, hey, can you grab some? And he was like, yep. So West Coasters. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's super uh, early 5 for you guys. in the morning. That just means you're already starting your day. We're just in the future. The mall walkers were outside the mall this morning, not in the mall. There's literally, we are the only ones in here other than employees. I'm surprised we haven't been kicked out yet. Hey, I still got I my- I can't believe there's 20 people in here. I still and got my 30 card minutes somewhere. Your mall walker card? No, my, uh, my permission. 1.30 yeah, right in the UK, man, your day is almost halfway done. I still got my permission to be in here live streaming cars. Yeah, I love it. You remember way back, like two years ago, when we got kicked out by security? I wasn't here that day, thank goodness. Yeah, you were. No, not the day you got kicked out. I think it was you and Jeff. I don't think I was here. I think you were. No, I don't remember being booted. I don't remember. I would have caused a scene. <laughs> no, so what happened was, and that Who was has like, their AARP card? This guy? Turn this thing out. Oh. Hey, you don't. You just don't knock it, it till you use the discount. That's all I got to we say. Ignore it? Yeah, big to big away. shout out to uh, well, read the directions to oh, old uh, Taylor Hartley right there. I'm gonna go with a big fat. Sh I bet you she doesn't work here anymore. It don't matter. I got the card. And it Jeanette says, says good morning. And it Phoebe. says marketing director. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. What did I say? Jeanette says good morning. We'll say good morning, Jeanette. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> All right, we need at least three more people in here before I show you one thing. Oh, man, bag. the people that come at 9 o'clock, they're going to be so disappointed that they missed out on all the goodies that you showed. But that notification turned on. It would have went bing. Other than unless Mullet you're petition for Alvarado. You still have that tab. I had a mullet once. Yes. I miss it. Hello, you still partner. Have that tab. What oh, tab? The tab. The, the, the give tab it that went in there. No, it's in the garbage. Why? I don't know, I don't know. To you turn it off? 
<laughs> oh, because it just takes the battery out, but then it starts over. If you just ignore it, it will go to sleep. <laughs> Trust me, I've had a Tamagotchi before. Janessa, I can rewatch it later. <laughs> What's up, Brandon? Oh, how do we set the time? Uh, so, yeah, we are definitely early, 30 minutes early today because we're sitting outside of Hot Topic for a possibility of a chase. Potential. Maybe. I mean, it's not even a good chase, but the fact that it would I was trying to get 21 chases in 2021, and I'm like, 10 in. What? Just kidding. It's his deal. <laughs> I was just kidding. Justice Lee, <laughs> nice. But I was trying to get 21 chases after he told me he was going to try it. I was going to see if I could beat him to the punch. That's right. It's happy birthday weekend. Whose birthday? America. Oh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Have you seen the new Bud commercial? With uh, the dude from Independence Day, the president? No. It's sort of like a spoof off of the- I thought that guy died. No, no, no. He was in the last, the Resurrection movie. Oh. But you remember his speech? We will go forth in the night. Blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's sort of a spin off on that. And it's, it's Budweiser. Oh, it's good. It's That's really great. good. I, love I actually it. shared it on my Facebook. My brother, uh, he posted it and I was just like, that is cool. I don't, I don't watch a lot of TV. Yeah. With commercials. But Bud, I don't Bud have Roger does cable. some good commercials. Oh, yeah. King Shark from Walmart. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Kind of kind of goofy, but it's cool. Well, goofy is as goofy does. That's true. Still waiting on three more people before I can pull hey, anything out of the bag. I just set the time on here. The, the bag of mystery. Bill Paxton. Can I Bill. Peek at what? Bill, yeah, that's him. In the bag? No, you cannot peek in the bag. I'm going to go through this bedroom. What's up? Hey, 30 people. All right. Here, throw this away, too. I literally, I have four things in here. I am excited. All right. Joe Fest. Who's SDA? All right, let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. How was Joe Fest? It was good. So let me. So I saw some 50th. Uh, figures yesterday, three and three quarter figures. Is that what they were that I sent you yesterday? Oh, you talking about from uh, Marauders? Star Wars? Oh yeah, that was. Those are a three and three quarter. Okay, because somebody just said they got the fiftieth. First and foremost. Oh yeah, those are awesome. We have green ones. That is awesome. They sound so cool. All right, so somebody just said they got the fiftieth at at driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. what this is? Yeah, that's him. Okay, so I saw these yesterday. Turned it off. I love that. Come on. So I saw these yesterday, and I sent them to Greg, but Which I didn't pick them up. Again? The middle one. So these need still need. I haven't cleaned these out yet. Okay. So y'all. So there's. Uh, oh my there's gosh. That one. I got to sand them down a little bit. Yeah, I haven't done anything on these. So what do you use? What grit? Is that the mystery bag? These technically, the bag? I mean, they're they're pretty smooth. You just have to clean out the inside right there. Is okay. that the mystery in the bag? That's this one is of the one of them. That was an epic, epic failure one. Let me see. Oh, it's bad. Oh, yeah. These I did another run. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a. Get out of there. They can hear you talking. So, uh, yeah. I had, my, awesome. I had my bed shift a little bit. When I, I actually got another round of them printed, too. That's a good one, too. It just needs to have that center section cleaned out. I just need one. I thought you needed or two. Or two. Well, yeah. there's three. All right. So yeah, we got green Grogu's. These are awesome, dude. I'm gonna paint their his eyes black. I did one I on mine. And how's it look? It looks good. Do you use a sharpie? One is the one I really want. No, I actually painted it. Oh, you but don't paint. forget the red, the little white dot, because you can give him a little a bit a of little an expression. character. Yeah. Morning. All right, that's surprise number one. These are great. That's surprise number two. It's, it's coming. I know it's a Would you sit down? minifigure. No, it is not. Sit down and be quiet. <laughs> sit um, down and be quiet. Uh, Joe Fast, Action Force. Oh, some 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 guns. Yeah. Uh, I want you to, because you've actually, this is the first time I've ever done anything with uh, Action Force weapons. Yeah. And the thing I want you to see if you notice when you take one of them out. Okay. And I even let you have your, your your choice of which one you want to examine. 
Because you've, can I with figures and stuff like that, you've, you've felt weapons before that come with action figures. I bruised my arm somehow. I didn't do it. These are cool, dude. You notice what I'm talking about? They're solid, man. They are solid. Of flimsy. That is legit solid. Dude, why are they so light, too? Are these 3D printed? I think they are. There's no but way, dude. I, if it's resin, it is, because resin 3D printing is clean. Oh, it could be. I think it's resin. Because the resin ones Let print from the bottom up, right? Yeah. But, I mean, get... I'm pulling this. Okay, so, this is... Dude, these are like legit. No, dude, you need to you need to you need to hold the AK. But I mean, these things are solid. Yeah, they don't bend. The tip is straight as an arrow. Except they are hollow. No, that's no. It's got a barrel hole. It's got a barrel <laughs> hole. It's supposed to be hollow. Because they make effects that plug into them, blast effects like fire. Yes. <laughs> this is so cool. If I had, if I had these when I was a kid, there would be little tiny pieces of sticks in there, and I would have lit them on fire. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know exactly. What and you then mean. taking pictures with the smoke coming out, and it would look like the gun was just fired. You can do anything with yep. these. Then why don't you do it right now? Would you sit down? <laughs> Somebody is not coming with me oh, on Saturdays. Oh, she doesn't have her color and stuff. Exactly, oh. she is. So not preoccupied. So you approve, dude. These are amazing. Here, you know what? Pardon me. Uh oh. Does it have four, to be the same food every time? Forty-seven people the same in game. here right now. Yeah. See, Tamagotchis are not entertaining to children anymore. They were to me. I thought they were great. I love the looks. She on was like, face. "What? I only get two types of food to feed him. I he wish. only plays one game. These things are stupid." Jeanette, just let her be. <laughs> Jeanette said, I just wish let her could, be. I swear I wish you could see the facial expressions. They are priceless. They're not priceless. They're ridiculous. They say a lot, though. Like, literally Here. a thousand words. Here, just sit, right. sit down and be quiet. So, you yes. approve of Action Force. I approve wholeheartedly. 100% These things are well amazing. Worth. So Wait, let me see that pickaxe. This pack was... Thirty dollars for thirty-six weapons. Now, how much? Thirty bucks for thirty-six weapons. So eighty-eight cents a weapon. Yes, roughly. And each weapon that has a magazine comes with three magazines. So, so you get more than thirty-six. Yes, you you get thirty-six weapons. The knife. The, the, oh yeah, that thing is sick, dude. These are awesome. They're amazing. Look at this. Focus. <laughs> Look, I mean, it is even sharp. Yeah, it's got an edge. Yeah. You can see the the angle on that. Yeah. Look at that. You can see the glint. Dude, it is. These <laughs> a are glint. awesome. The only thing I hate is I wish I'd have bought two packs of them while oh I was there. Oh, God. Deep. I mean, but you can buy stuff from them online, oh, right? Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So this is awesome, too. What would you call this? A scythe? Um, close enough. I mean, because if it was no, on a big... No, that's a, a comma. What? Really? Yeah, a comma. Because if it was on a big stick... If it was on a big it's stick... It's a Japanese fighting weapon. It looks... It's a comma. Because if it was on a big stick... Yeah. It would a... essentially be... Look at this. This is incredible. Here, I'm going to do the stupid YouTube trick that I see Greg do. Oh, hey, yeah. Can you it's see focus. That? I know. It still yeah. sees you. But these are awesome. You paid 30 bucks for this whole bag? Yes. And you've already taken some weapons out because I've I've seen some of the stuff you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is part two. Because <laughs> I wanted his opinion on my custom work. On his painting. I saw some online yesterday. I was like, look at Greg, man, getting all into it. Look, there's like magazines. So you can- oh They come God. in and out. Yeah, this they're removable. so great. What? Yeah. All right, hang on a minute. You're so full of malarkey right now. I'm oh not. my god! <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, this is. I mean, come on, man. Not very close this is the greatest it. thing ever. For twelve, I mean, yeah, for twelve scale figures, I mean. Look. Whoop. 
Oh, I've spent my load. Let me get oh, another sold one. sold out online. Oh, that's because they took them all to the Joe Fest. Was that a pickaxe? The first uh, one yeah. was just an ice. It's it looked like, like an uh, yeah, sort of like an it's, ice axe. It is kind of like an ice axe, but I would I would consider this to be a, a battle axe. Yeah. Because it's got a pretty good hefty handle to it. Actually, there's a... You have an eyeball picker right there. There's a company locally here in our area that makes tactical tomahawks, which is real similar to what that looks like. Yeah, what's it called? I think it's tactical tomahawks. Oh. There's a kukuri. Kukuri? A kukuri. A kukuri. I learned what's about up, kukuri watching... Uh, forged in fire uh, yeah do you watch it oh god yeah i record it this will kill do you watch the terror one no i'm watching them there it's on netflix so i started with season one and i'm that's about that's all they got on netflix it's season one yeah oh i'm about 20 episodes deep into season one a kookery look at the Yay. curve on that blade keep keep coloring color more stuff and i already worked on that part uh a couple days ago, but now I'm finishing it. Oh yeah, you found the saw, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> How would you not? I mean, I'm sorry. If you were at Joe Fest and you didn't buy these, you, then you're you were never a child. You were never Dude, a kid that played with their toys. Literally, because this is never waste the, your the toys. quality of these is is the is the thing. These aren't cheap Is that plastic. double barrel? Oh no, it's single barrel. Um, Do you have a weapons? double barrel shotgun? No, there's no double. And the fact that they have This is the, the Punisher's weapon of choice right here. Bless you. Well, the Bless fact you. that they have the barrel hole is even better. Yeah, this is unreal, dude. I'm putting this in there. Okay, this, I'm getting ready to pull Get it out. Get a frame for the drawing. This might... Actually, I have an interesting story about that. I need Phoebe to do me another one. I went oh through, no! I went he, through the car car wash and my back driver's side window was down. Everything got wet. Yeah. So it rained. Who you need goes to make through a toy car wash without down. looking at their no no no. Windows. I was checking them, and I guess when I was making sure yeah because I paid for my ticket. Ah. Uh, well, when I pushed the window down, I accidentally didn't realize I hit the back left window as well. Uh, so it cracked it like this much. That sucks. So. So She's got to make me a new one. Is incredible. Oh yeah. Squad automatic weapon, 969 round cycle it per minute. Does it have a place where it goes in? This goes here. Yeah, it pegs in. Then the bipod goes over the barrel. There we go, right there. I do believe. I haven't Does put that none fit? of that on yet. Yeah, I haven't quite figured that out Dad. yet. I haven't got that far. But it does peg in somehow. It should peg in here, right? This is incredible though, dude. I oh, don't dude. care what you say. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to peg in. My eyes. Hey, Blair. I'm getting old, man. I'm 48 years old. Did you say puppy? I said puppy. I'm 10 years older than you. You're I know. puppy. Get that in there. I know it goes in there. I have, that's why I haven't put it in there yet. I haven't quite figured it out. I think you're going to have to sand it down a little bit to get it to fit. But I mean, it comes with a bipod. Would you call this a bipod? It is a bipod. I would call it a bipod because a tripod has three legs. Yep, that is a bipod. This, the details on these guns is incredible and then this other bag that greg has in here the details are Dad. even better because he's painted okay would you keep coloring stuff this is awesome oh did you get it in yep nice oh it clips too i'm always nervous about these pieces well that's why i gave it to you because yeah. i wasn't gonna, I ain't gonna put it. that on yet well here we'll just do this watch That is incredible. So when you paint that sucker. <laughs> Ta-da! That is amazing. So when you paint this to yes. look like these. Amazing! These are great, dude. Who in there? 
Here's the crazy thing, though. I actually paired them up with a Stormtrooper, and they look great. A Clone Trooper. Really? Oh, God, yeah. Deadpool looks good with them. Any figure um, that has a weapon, I mean... These are great. C cable. These look great with the cable figures. Do these look good with uh, Legends? Oh, yeah. They're perfect size, right? Oh, yeah. Like I said, I paired them up with uh, Deadpool, and uh, look great. Amazing. But I wanted to bring these to show you because of how you can go from this level to the next This one level. looks great right here. That's great. This is amazing. Big man, what's up? Look at that. Look at the detail on the barrel. What's up? Look at that. Uh, amazing. I even put the little silver dot on this. I know, I see it. <laughs> this is great. So Florida. now you just need to, I mean, you wouldn't even paint your. Actually, your the magazine. Magazine. I will, because my weapon like that actually has tan magazines. Oh, it does? Yeah. So I may paint them. I don't know yet. This is great. I'll dude. paint probably at least one that I'll keep in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Continue. These are great. So now I like this. Him. Is this a grenade launcher? That is a grenade launcher. Yes. Now, before I painted it, the barrel actually rotated. But now that I've painted it, it's a little tight. But it still rotates. Yeah. That's another level of detail that blew my mind. wonder what that's for. It's for a uh, sling. Oh, crap. It sure is, isn't it? Yep. Which they will have slings on them, too. Amazing. Look. That spins just like a grenade launcher. And here's, here's I was, cause I was talking about these on Tuesday. There is no logical reason why you would have had to make that spin. Do you know what? I don't think there's a logical reason there should be a laser sight on a grenade launcher. Oh yeah, that's a scope by the way. Oh, it looks like a laser sight. But from a toy making perspective, there's no reason to have it spin other than they they have pride in their, their uh well, there's no reason to put all this other extra well, stuff on details, there. Well, that's details. But what I'm saying, though, this is with a moving part that yeah. will not move. Or Jared, there, Jared. It's it's not. It's a moot point. Yeah. But these are. You know, they wanted some details. So. Man, we have literally talked for 20 minutes. Yeah. Jared's here. About. Uh oh. I was posted, but y'all never looked at the comments. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. Everybody, Jared. Jared. What you everybody. Got there? Hey, everybody. The Ooh. Batmobile. I got one for both of you. Ooh. Thanks. I haven't picked this one up that yet. That's heavy. That's Jeez. from the Robert Pattinson. I saw those yesterday. It's like, thank you. Those. Nice. Look, peeps. I can't get over the substantial weight, weight to, to it. it. See, toy community, it rocks. <laughs> Jeanette just Thanks, said hi. Jared. Hi, Jeanette. That looks good. So weird. Man, I hope he doesn't ruin Batman. <laughs> right? Have you seen the trailer? It's in the or first parts one. of it? I thought it looked pretty good. I like grab, it. Grab your chair, man. You can, you can stay with us. Uh, what are you saying? They don't. They didn't work. Woo! The uh, but no, that's the that's the thing that I was so amazed with was they they went to the next level and made something that functioned. Yeah, they had no. They had no need. They had do no it. need. We talked 20 minutes about plastic toy guns. <laughs> Those are sweet, man. They are awesome. Nice. Aren't they? Are you a Dodgers fan? Oh, it's droids. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Everybody makes that mistake. Uh, it's crazy. I saw it after I said it. The BB-8. <laughs> <laughs> Jared live and in person, not an avatar. <laughs> I had a guy start giving me a hard time about the Dodgers, and he's like, oh, man, I just made myself look like an idiot. <laughs> that is great. Do what, peeps? Those people, what's up? Look how many things I did on Painter today. But the fact that awesome. they're, like, solid, they don't bend. Yeah, very nice. I mean, all different colors, like a rainbow. Just amazing. All the way around. 
Yeah, that, like I said, just rotate. I said I was going to do one of the Easter things. No, it's not but Easter. But they're really solid. So you know what? I don't think what you break is? these either. No. So no. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you things. could. I mean, but, if you really tried, you could. Yeah. But just but posing, no, you're not just going to snap them. Okay. And they're not going to, when you get them in a grip, it's not going to like bend the weapon to where no. it puts like a curve in it while you're trying to get it up. So, yeah. I think they're going to be great. I like the fact that they are not flimsy. They are sturdy. What else you got in that bag? There's three more items. Wait, you said there was four. We've already done two. No, there's <laughs> three more. There was five total. I didn't okay. really count those. Oh, okay. That was a surprise item. So, so you have your choice. <laughs> um, we can debut Ooh. a custom figure that I'm working on that's almost done. All right, but I think you need more than 67 people to do that. Okay. We can debut something that I sold that's really cool. And right, something you've that. mentioned that I should do with it so you could get a better understanding of how it All looks. All right, let's do it. You just had 68 people. using one Yoda or excuse me oh that's awesome dude so there you, you go this one already too? yeah that one uh, uh Dylan bought it yeah so now you can see it with a figure he's not showing you guys <laughs> no I'm, I, why would I yeah, yeah. it's all about him so now you can see the scale of the figure and and I'm telling you she looks good on there this looks great dude you gotta tell you the picture the real leather they do not. All right, I'll show you. Are you guys ready? So is this to keep it balanced? No, it's huh? just an added piece. You hmm. can add more stuff and... Oh, that's pretty smart. Yeah. This is great, dude. Are you ready? Oh, you can see it. Bum, 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 bum. Look at that. Look at the leather. Real cowhide. Yeah, smell it. I can smell it from here. I can smell it from my mask. You can? That is incredible. Doesn't Baroness look good on the throne though? She does. Look, that is genuine cowhide leather. Greg wore this when he was riding his motorcycle to weather it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is awesome. But now you have seen it, your request. I, I wanted to see one. With the figure on I have seen it in person. Did you and paint her guns or they always been gold? I guess I need to get this figure. This is one I That's never... the one that came with the red motorcycle. Yeah, I know. It's the one I never found. Hardly anyone ever found. Dude, that's great. Hopefully that will uh, be amazing. Than the first release. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah. That is uh, number two. Hey, Dylan, you got yourself a nice little piece there. Holy butt crackers, somebody said. <laughs> and Greg says that all the time. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. That's the second one I've done. Uh, the first one that I've done that you saw. Yeah. I actually gifted that to Big Dub at Joe Fest. Oh, did you? Yeah. This and then Dylan awesome. reached out to me, and another person reached out to me. So I actually have um, two more thrones that I'll be starting to work on real soon. You should give her one of those pistols. Just kidding. She would look good. Yeah. She's like, right now, you suck. <laughs> so do all the Joes. Oh, nice. Can't go wrong with hot toys. Speaking of hot toys. Have you gotten um, a new one? No, I'm getting ready to start printing the uh, six scale Boba Throne. Oh, wow. You know the Boba Throne? Yeah. Six scale. Six scale. Holy crap. For your <laughs> Mando. Toy. For my Mando. For Mando. Or Anybody. heavy Mando. Just, I'm about to throw my Deadpool on it. I mean, it's like. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, we need four more people. Uh, oh, really? What are we doing with four more people? DM me, Charlie. What did that say? Who wants to know how much I charge for? Mm. Uh, One million dollars. <laughs> Uh, one more person, and you got your choice. Custom or, well, they're both sort of custom. Custom action figure or. What's your pick? Custom action figure or 
cosplay. Whoa. Or cosplay slash safety. I think you know. Like, like, yeah. Cosplay is far more Let's do interesting. It. Okay. <laughs> oh, you just lost somebody when you said cosplay. Yeah, we're down to 66. Yeah. <laughs> somebody said theoretical was like custom figure. I mean, they're both coming. So this, I actually started painting last night. Okay. So it is a little rough. Good job. It's not completely finished, but out. I'll debut it. All right, what is it? Oh, nice. Ooh, that looks great. <laughs> so are you gonna wear those like all the time? Very cool. And are you going to? I mean, no. I've got another one of those printing right now, so. So is this a custom piece or is this, I don't recognize the characters. <laughs> it's, it's not any particular, okay. it's just like a Mempo mask, but. You could almost do like a Cobra Trooper with it or something. You could do a lot of things. I think I'm actually going to almost do a Death Watch paint scheme on this one because this is the base color for my Death Watch helmet. So is it light? Oh yeah. Not oh. too flexible. It's too big for me. <laughs> Dude, you sound cool, though, when you're you wearing do. it. <laughs> you really do. So what I'm thinking is, because, you know, on the Mando helmets, they have this. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the main helmet. I'm thinking about doing the stripe. Nice. And then the black and like a Death Watch helmet. It's almost like uh, Deku's cowl. But the crazy thing about it is they actually have spots where you can drill them through. And put, yeah. to put I'm I'm going to do a normal strapping system, though. Yeah. But yeah. Is that another Thingiverse? Pattern? Yeah. No, no, no. I actually bought this one. Oh, yeah. But I like the fact that. I like it. You can wear a That's mask crazy. and then put that on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could actually. Because I thought about doing the loops yeah. for it. But I don't know yet. Because I want it to be pretty, in case I work to a con or something, I want it to be pretty. But yeah, if you put your mask on it, it fits even better. But like I said, I sized that one up. And then I took a heat gun and heated it up and, and done this to it. And bent it? Well, I actually heated it up and put it to my face, which is interesting. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, you're doing it. That ain't gonna work. Why would that work? You ain't got that long of a stretchy thingies. You don't think? No, because it covers your ears. Hey, look. <laughs> well, what you but what you could do is actually take a mask like this and Velcro, Velcro that, that, to that. Yeah. And then you could just it's not a bad idea, it. you know. Because if you actually laid it in like so, folded it, laid it in, Velcroed it on there. It's yeah, not a bad idea. And just belt, just put Velcro. Now your ear pieces are should be pretty equal. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. All right, what else you got in there? Oh my God, we're losing people. Losing them left and right. Yeah, this is. A, but I think that is what I'm gonna do. Since it actually has these uh, little things right here, I'm gonna put a piece of detail tape there, and then do the Death Watch colors. Nice. So, yeah, those are cool. The 3D printer does not stop. I don't think it does, man. I think you have that thing going 24 seven. Actually, what's funny, cause you know, I bought one of those wise cameras that you yeah. recommended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I called Kim the other day. I said, hey, my my back finished printing, or no, the, the base is finished. And I said, hey, do you mind going downstairs and pulling it off the printer? And she laughed. So I had the camera on. So I talked her through on the phone how to start this print, like at 11 o'clock for -uh. her. And really? She, she got it all started up. Awesome. She went to the pool. So I was like, <laughs> yes. So really? So Kim knows how to operate the printer now. That's awesome. Kim, if you're watching, good job. Greg Cook Customs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. It's Cook Family Customs now. Cook Family Customs. All right. So the final thing. Final thing. You just keep drop. People keep dropping. I know. They're You're just, 59. Are we people, boring? People's you? going out to hunt. What time is it? See? They're Seven dropping. Nine. 
It's all right. It's all good. So sad. At There's least don't the- hit up that like button before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you know me and Johnny, and uh, yes, one's little reboot. Yes, done the custom. Yes, bubble gum. Because I tried to win one. Lori, Big man gave and Lori got mine. one. So which is cool. So we decided to do another project. Sweet. That involved the Bane build a figure. Okay. Scarecrow. Oh, Nice. Okay. So Scarecrow has no legs. So you're making legs? I see where this is yes. going. Yes. So nice. Johnny's done one. Johnny's is actually next level. Like, did he post it online? He's he's supposed to pitch it on his Instagram. Okay, then I when think I've seen it. Is, is even insane too. So I remember you looking for something. Did you go that route? Yes, I did right. go that route. <laughs> so Johnny done his little different. It actually has like I think it's a raised head on it. Okay, it's painted white like a ghost. It's okay. got arms that have I think built-in lightsabers. Get out! Which That's is insane. Awesome. Um, Josh, when it's a reboot, he got the uh, Warhammer. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The robot looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw one this morning actually at yeah. uh, Walmart. So he used that body. That's great. The legs part. Which is cool. Wait, wait, right. wait. So, the route I went, I still got a little bit of work to do, but I think my vision came through. I'm trying to find Wentzilla's. Did he post his? <laughs> I love it. That is That's terrifying. <laughs> that is super terrifying. But what's really funny is I almost, before you showed me that, almost said, but that's perfect. <laughs> Where is his? He might not have posted yet. He sent me pictures of oh, okay. it. Okay. So he might not have posted but it yet. But Johnny's posted his, I think right? he did to a story, maybe. Under this is a No, it swallows your whole, whole head. <laughs> Uh, he might not have posted it yet either. No, yeah. Look, now she has a root. Man, should crown. you be showing people this? What, his stuff? No, your stuff. Oh, I don't know. I'm, it's, we're not like doing like a, a oh, live okay. stream or nothing. No, he's live right now. All right, now. so do you guys want to see this? What, first and foremost, what do you guys think? I think it's creepy as all get out. It is terrifying. I'm gonna have is that the head that came on it? Yeah, this is, yeah this, this is the face that came out. I still it. need to put the uh, tube on the back. There's a respirator tube. I'm going to have nightmares. But, oh, my uh, gosh. You're not going to have nightmares. What about the, the, the weathering and stuff? So, great. Yeah, it looks great. Do you add I, extra weathering to the scarecrow part, too? Oh, yeah. I've done, okay. done some darks and some lights. Then I've done all of this. and I started just by doing his hair. Uh-huh. Then I thought, I like that color, so I just went through and done yeah, everything. That looks incredible. All right, here we go. Hilarious. There he is. That is so creepy. My take. I love the needle fingers, man. Yeah. It reminds me of Freddy Krueger. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I don't like about them is they're so flimsy every time you get them straight the way you want them yeah they move they back. move and the thumb doesn't move but there we go guys that is awesome were the needle fingers always a thing or i remember them showing like up that? in one of the arc the first arc game you like that that's I where i don't know that yes it looks good i don't remember them in the comics I did use the bottom half of Wally. Look the other that was my original thought for this: is I wanted him to have tank treads, and Wally was the only thing I thought of that you could find. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, he is uh, glued in. I got to heat these things up because I want them to lay over. So I'm gonna yeah. heat these up and bend them. But yeah. That is awesome. Can you take off her head? Oh, you want to take her head off and put this on there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. <laughs> that would look interesting. Uh, Phoebe wants to put the green grow crew on Baroness's body. But I think I think it's uh, 
I think it's a, a definite interesting piece. I think it's awesome. It's creepy, but awesome. So yeah. Why is he rolling around on that? Because. Uh oh. And he sits good too. Yeah. This is awesome. Could you make the wheels roll? Well, it's got these little wheels underneath it. So yeah. There we go. Creepy. Now you can get Bane pulling him like a toy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's sort of what I was thinking. That's awesome. I'd like a Yeah. <laughs> but it's sort of a mosh posh if you think about it between like, you know, you know, hey. Wally, R2 D2. Yeah. You know, something doesn't if you remember, uh, I think it was the um, I saw that yesterday Johnny when Five. I was going home. <laughs> Johnny Five's another one, but the Aliens movie with Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Remember the dude that had the... Uh, the yes, the, yes, yes. That's pretty cool. Because, you know, he was the mechanic. Yeah. You know, yep. and then Mad Max had the dude that was in the sling. The, the crane. old original Mad Max or the new one? No, the one where they had the petroleum plant and Stop. the bus. Thunder. Thunder. No, no, the one at, not Thunderdome. It's where they was trying to get the, the fuel out, had the... That, uh, That's the, big, the new one. Big heavy dude. That's the new one. No, 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 not the brand new one. With uh, Lord uh, Humor Humorous or it was Humongous. Humongous. Yeah. Mad Max. There was a dude Thunder that was the mechanic. He was, the on a, he was yeah, on a Fury Road. He was that's on a the crane. new one. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the new yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the one with uh, Humongous, they were getting fuel out too. That would just be Mad Max. Uh, That'd be the second. Yeah, that's the second. One. Okay, okay. But they had a they had a mechanic dude. On the crane and the sling. It won't work. I already tried it. Yeah, the little wolf boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wolf boy. Ears. So, yeah. I can't find my that's it. That's all, the, uh, that's all the stuff. The goodie bag. That's it? That's it. Well, that's, that's a lot, actually. <laughs> that's well, I wasn't here last weekend. I know, because yeah. I called Greg, or texted him, and said, Hey, man, are you getting out today? And he sends me a picture of his Joe Fest wristband. <laughs> and then, yes, I realized, oh, that's this weekend. Oh. Hey, but Phoebe and I had a pretty good hunt day. We didn't buy a single toy last week. What? Did we buy anything last week? Uh, no, right? I think so. I think we bought a Hot Wheel. Uh, we might have gotten a Hot Wheel. Well, we have not bought, bought a toy at a store before. Sad, I don't remember what I got last week. <laughs> Didn't it suck when I mean, you can't remember? It means I get too much. <laughs> I got uh, some NBA Prism yesterday. 40 minutes of show and tell. Yeah, and guess what? It was awesome. Oh! The gun part is my favorite so far. I mean, I'm sorry you didn't make those, but you did paint them, and they looked incredible. Oh, no, dude, they're, they're insane. So I got up this morning. It's funny. You can tell a, a maker. Greg's been painting. His hand's blue. <laughs> Green. The hands of a maker. It's so awesome. Um, so I got up this morning. Yep. To an well, to an Etsy notification. Somebody on. sold something. Bought something. Somebody bought one of my EVA foam mempo masks. Oh, cool. Get right out of town. Yeah. That's you awesome. Remember the the uh, one that had the resin pieces on it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Is that the first one? Yeah. Nice. I've officially sold something on well, my Etsy send them, store. When you send the the Mempo mask, send a little note that says, hey, please post to your Instagram. It's already there. Oh, it's already, already there. Got them printed. Oh, you already got that? Oh, Good. Because yeah. as soon as that happens, then let me know, and then I'll share it, and we can maybe get some more people to buy your stuff. Hello, two flowers. Can I play disc golf? Yeah, I did, mullet. I got some NBA Prism yesterday. Yeah, can I, play disc golf? I, I opened no one box, and I have 13 more to open. Did you mention the 75 WrestleMania figures I saw yeah. yesterday? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> so, Jared sends me a picture yesterday, and which figure was it? Uh, it was like five of the ones. No. Okay, so he sends me this picture, and there's literally – did you count them? I, I went back and how, how many was there? There were 75 WrestleMania figures at this Walmart. In, my, in the valley? Oh, for five bucks a piece. What? Five dollars a piece. I was there this morning. Over in the clearance section. Oh, I didn't go in the clearance Always section. Always in the clearance section. I, so I messaged him back because I was like, hey, Army build, you know, or, or he said, you know, Army build. 
And I don't know uh, anything about wrestling, so I don't know who these are. Oh, those are the horrible ones anyway. Yeah. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. We might have a bunch of... Brian Bray, Wyatt. Yeah, or Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. So what I told him was with those those 75, I mean, I said, shoot, man, that's that's the cast of 300. <laughs> Just repaint them. <laughs> yeah, you could make, like, background. <laughs> that's awesome. So, Where's yeah, 75... Uh, Where's what? Where's my gold? Drew McIntyre wrestling figures, five bucks a piece. The cast of the 300. And it'd right be an here. easy paint job. Right? Yeah. yeah. I already got boots. Right here, you want to hear that? Helmets. <laughs> Found a 12 scale helmet. So, yeah. Check your Walmart clearance sections if you want a buttload of uh, wrestling figures, five bucks a piece. Oops, too much. Uh, but yeah, so Joe Fest. Yeah, tell uh, me all about it. Okay, never Joe mind. Was I don't there. want to play disc golf. Were there Joe any Fest famous was, people there? Uh, Sergeant Slaughter was there. The wrestler? Yeah. Okay. Ron, Ron Simmons. Yeah, he's going to be here in town. What? Doing what? He's going to be at um, FarleyCon. Wait, FarleyCon's coming back? Yeah. Oh, I need to get a table. Next month. Yeah. I'll call. Uh, Looks like we're selling some toys. Him and Ron Simmons was there. Which okay. Ron Simmons is a wrestler too. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, okay. It was. It was good. It was a lot of people there. Okay. A lot of people. That's awesome. A um, lot of uh, vendors. Uh, oh yeah, for, I can't remember who it was. Somebody made a comment that I showed too much Marvel Legends stuff. Who said that? <laughs> That's pretty much the biggest chunk of stuff that was there was Marvel. <laughs> it might have said Joe Fest, but uh, there was a lot more other stuff than Joe's. There was a lot of Joe's there, a lot of the newer stuff. Um, one guy had a booth of all the lead major figures, six million dollar man. That's all. Uh, really? Uh, Gordon was it? Was it Gordon the guy that helped Dude, lead majors? <laughs> The, the dude with the suit. That was 40 years ago. I don't remember. I think it was Gordon. I think that was his name. Um, I didn't see as many old Joes as far as the 12 inch. A lot of uh, three and three quarter stuff. I had no idea that the three and three quarter Joe stuff was so expensive. A lot of those figures for one booth, they were three figures, you know, 100 plus. Yeah. Um, I saw one car of Doom. They wanted 95 bucks for her. For the Black Series? How much? 95 bucks. For the Black Series? Yeah. Man, I should have kept mine. I keep uh, them back. Still got my loose one. I don't have I one in the box. Back. I have a loose one. I, well, mine's out of the box, but yeah. I think I even, I think I even threw her box away. Yeah, I don't keep the boxes. Um, so. There was a lot. There was. Uh, I can't be a vendor. No. Oh, wow. Um, Toy department was there. They had a pretty good section. The, to me too. <laughs> um, the uh, they gave away a, a in box USS flag. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That is cool. Was it a raffle? Yeah, it was a raffle. Okay. <laughs> Action Force was there. We actually went to their uh, Q and A. Yeah. Where they revealed the next series and stuff like that. They also revealed. Have you ever heard of uh, Tim Kennedy? He was on the Finding Hitler show. He's a special ops dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been on. Yeah. He now has a figure. What? Yeah. That is so cool. Uh, so they debuted that. Greg Cook has a figure. Yeah, for the uh, for the flag. <laughs> no way. Oh yeah, yeah. There was a guy selling one there in, for pieces. Oh really? Um, there was another company. How there. big is that flag? S seven foot. Yeah. It's massive. That's awesome. It's about the size of that. That's awesome. <laughs> about three feet wide. Was it crowded? It was, but not, I mean, it was. You went in early though, right? We How long in. did you stay? Oh, Lord. 1.30, Okay, so you felt comfortable, not too bad. Wore was, your mask your whole time? Did not wear it once. Wow. Really? I took wow. it in with me. Yeah? Um, cause, cause, it's one of those things where at some point, I'd be like us right now. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, at some point you got to trust the science. Yeah. Right, right, right. I know. I'm, uh, I'm right there with you. But I had you. it with me. Uh, I've got mine with me all the time. They uh, had a little bit of an anxiety thing there a few times. 
Brast did. Brastillo. That was my concern because when I saw that you were there and I watched your your live stream for a few minutes, yeah, you were talking about how you were going to go in early, yeah, and you were still unsure, yeah. Um, I was like, man, I hope Greg's going to be okay today because if it gets crowded, it's going to be nuts. Well, because I have a hard time. I took a pill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. I took, I took a pill. Here's the um, thing, man. I have a hard time right now. I mean, because I have her, we can't vaccinate her. Yeah. I'm vaccinated, my wife's vaccinated, everybody we know is vaccinated. When I go to Walmart, if it's super crowded, man, I'm, I have my mask on, yeah. but it still doesn't feel right. Oh, no. Because I'm just like, ooh, man, it's The thing that I discovered rough. was how well my uh, people avoidance radar has gotten that good? It was it good? so much better at a con. I was surprised on how I could hook. Well, my shape. normal times, I'm still avoiding that's what, the crowd. Well, that's you what know? I was gonna say. So my <laughs> wife is like germaphobe. She can't, but kind of like you. I mean, yeah. and even before the pandemic, we avoided people like the plague. I mean, and she's yeah. she's like, man, I'm I've been so well trained for this. You know what I mean? There's one and it's true. I'm taking the next one. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, and that, that goes back to the the mask that I printed yeah. for cons. Because I was going to take my Wrecker helmet. The comfort. Or my Mando helmet. But it's hard to talk and film. Right. That at least, I might be able to, to work something out. You have your microphones. Yeah. So, I mean, with that right I'm there. I'm going to do some testing to yeah. see... Um, but that way, you, at a con, you can... Oh, my gosh. I just have a crazy thought. I can mount an axe inside of... That's what I was thinking. What if you had one with enough room to where you that one mounted does. it? I mean, I've got a lavalier mic. It will sound so cool because when you have that thing on and you talk, you're like... <laughs> it's like, this is Greg Cook <laughs> coming live from the Joe Con. <laughs> It'll be awesome. So, yeah. I mean, it was... Um, of course, Ryan and Kent was there. Yeah, so that that's helped, also that a makes lot. it more comfortable. Yeah, um, but the uh, I think all together I might have saw out of there was there was a couple thousand people at one point. It was full, but it was a big conference. big convention. Yeah. I saw there was like forty thousand um, square feet or something. So I'd say all together I saw six people that you knew that had masks. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Of course, they've lifted everything in Georgia. Yeah. It's I been mean, lifted. Yeah. It never, well, like, uh, it never occurred. It never happened here. <laughs> but it was cool, though. I had people coming up to me that recognized me from the channel. That's awesome. Had, uh, You're famous. Had a couple of pictures taken. That's which was awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, Any autographs? Yeah. Didn't sign anything. Um, I'm assuming people probably recognized Jetta. Well, at some point we split off, and yeah. it was weird. They was people that recognized Kent, but not me. Me, but not Kent or Ryan. Ryan, but not us. And that, I found that really fascinating. Yeah, especially since y'all do stuff together all the time. And yeah. 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 But, but you've been there a while since you've been together. It's so true. It was and there were several other YouTubers there that yeah. I discovered that I... I I didn't see them. Yeah. Never seen them before. Never right. saw their channels before. But now you do. And now I'm subscribed to them. Yeah. And they got some really good content. That's awesome. But um, one of the guys we met, he actually posted a picture on uh, Jetta Patrol's uh, group page. Uh, he's actually into RC car racing. I saw that guy. And uh, since I used to be the Region 3 Roar director, that sparked his interest. <laughs> You're into but, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do what now? Yeah. When do you sleep? Yeah. That's what I want to know. <laughs> I mean, I'm a five to six hour person, and I think Greg gets two to two. Well, back two to when three I hours. was radio, when I was car racing. Yeah. I mean that that was worse than toys. I know. I trust me, it's um, not cheap. So this region is region three: Tennessee, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. That's region three. I don't think Florida is, but anyway, I digress. Um, so an opportunity came up for me to become the director of that whole region. Were you racing at the time? Yes. And what kind of RC cars are we talking here? Gas powered? Gas, electric, stock, modified, 12 scale, 10 scale. Dirt scale, tracks? Dirt, carpet, asphalt. Everything. Street, uh, parking lot, everything. Are you good? 
When I quit, I finished ninth in the nation. Wow. <laughs> what? That's pretty impressive. Do you yeah. still have a car? No. Did it get too political? Is that why you quit? <laughs> no, I actually went back to college. Yeah. You don't have a car? No. Mm. No. Do you want a car? No, I actually just sold all my all my cars year before last. This is incredibly informative today. Hey, so now, so what he and, and the guy's name's Keenan, so he wants me to get on his podcast with him. And we're going to talk about toys, RC car stuff. Because nice. when, when I told him I used to be the Region 3 director, he's just like, you know. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. But he's, uh, RC car stuff, I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, that's not a cheap it, hobby. No, I mean, I had a trailer, everything. I'm I sponsored. Calling. What? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fascinating uh, sport. It's a. Uh, it is definitely one that uh, sucks the wallet a little bit. I can imagine. Put it to you this way: so competitive, so competitive RC car racing. I am so confused right now. Okay, so so, so here's you? the deal. Did you have any idea? No. So <laughs> here's 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 the thirty thousand foot view, right? Okay. So RC car racing is broken down to disciplines. Okay. You have dirt. Okay. You have oval which is asphalt nascar basically okay inclined or flat it's banked okay you have road course okay. which is flat okay you have parking lot racing flat flat um then if you break down the disciplines we'll we'll say dirt you have truck and buggy yeah you have two-wheel drive four-wheel drive okay you have tenth scale eighth scale you have monster truck. Okay. You have stock modified. Okay. So, and that same discipline applies to everything. So if you go to uh, asphalt, oval, you, you have, have all that stuff. Stock and modified. Yeah. They're two wheel drive cars. They look like NASCARs, blah, blah, blah. Carpet, you have 12 scale, 10 scale. You have stock modified. The carpet have, cracks me up. So you go to somebody's living room. And, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Dal Dalton, we had a big track in Dalton. That's where we actually held the carpet Roar Nationals. So there so was Dalton. a. Is it like shag carpeting or is it? No, like no. It's, a, it's, it's like, like a pile. It's like a Berber <laughs> style. Okay. So there was uh, in in Red Bank on Dayton Boulevard, mm -hmm. there was a guy out there that had a dirt track. Most people that did it had some kind of track in their backyard. Well, this was a business. Yeah. And he had. A track in his backyard with jumps and hills and yeah. it was a small tight track I would say it probably didn't take up more space than that and that in that yeah. square area well, and on weekends there would be oh yeah you got the well that we call that hundreds of people we there. call that grassroots okay so you got your grassroots racers. okay so when we did the Roar Nationals in Dalton, uh, we actually had the number one driver yes. in the world, number two driver in the world. They showed up. Um, That's incredible. A bunch of famous people in the RC community was there. I can't pronounce the Japanese guy's name. Brian Kennedy was there. A um, lot of people. But here's where it gets funny. It's like there's a lot of people will get only want to do dirt. Right. Okay. A lot of people just want to be uh, NASCAR drivers, so they'll do the oval. But then it breaks down to where people, you have 12th scale people. That's all they want to race is the 12th scale cars. Then you have 10th scale cars. Uh, then you have the monster truck guys, the A scale guys. My issue was I raced them all. Everything. Everything. Whew. So I <laughs> raced, like, when me and Kim would go to Dal come down here to Dalton, uh, to the track that was down there right off Rocky Face. That's where it all started. He had a dirt track and an oval track. Started right there. We would get up at probably six in the morning on Saturday. I'd hook up everything after I got the trailer, but before I got the trailer, would load everything up in the car, go down to Dalton. Races started at 10 in the morning and finished up at six at night. So you wouldn't get home till eight. Or Typically, later. we didn't get home to about one hmm. because the races would everybody would practice from ten to like four. Races started at six, then we raced into the night. 
wow. And so every single Saturday, um, on an average, it costs like 10 bucks yeah. to enter a race. The only, th and the only thing you got was a trophy, like literally a trophy. That was At it. 60 minutes, you need to show this to Kim. Yeah. Hey, Kim, holy cow, you have put up with a lot. <laughs> Kim has supported me in Very everything. Amazing. That's amazing. Good work, ladies. Uh, so at your peak, how many vehicles did you have? At my peak, 36. Did they all fit in the trailer? <laughs> no, I didn't take them all with me. <laughs> well, you would have to if you were doing you, all these you, different- You uh, outfit the trailer for what you're racing that weekend. Oh my like God. Like if I was just racing how many, dirt. How many sets of tires did you have? New or mounted? <laughs> Unreal, man. Because I was sponsored by a tire company. Were you really? Yeah. Sponsors. That's awesome. Did so, your trailer so, say so, Greg Cook Racing on it? Actually, it did, yeah. Well, of course it did. Of course it did. <laughs> Check it, I had custom built cabinets in it. Had a dyno in it, a battery matcher in it. You had a dyno yeah, in I, there? I dynoed all my motors. Okay, that is <laughs> well, You remember Hobby Town at East Field over at Northgate? Yeah. Me and another guy actually put on an exhibition over there in Hobby Town. They set us up a parking lot race. Yeah. Everybody, they had a, every Saturday they do like little that. racing and it was like kids and stuff. Yeah. Well, they asked me if I'd come over there, you know, and do an exhibition and me and uh, Justin was his name and we did four wheel drive modified, you know, on the carpet. So none of these people had ever seen real racing, you know, cars. Mm -hmm. And to give you an idea, the average lap time for everybody over there was about 12 seconds. And it was a pretty good size track. Me and Justin were putting in 4.6 to 50 lap times. Wow. We were we were running under five second laps. That's incredible. And and, and it's funny the, the the dads. Yeah. And the, the kids is just be like, you know, because these cars are Fast. moving. Yeah. And so the dads would come over and then we, we put on a, I put on a battery clinic. Um, I done a lot of my. my I'm bringing my I'm bringing my. Uh, remote control car next week. Okay. It's still in the box. I paid $6 for it. <laughs> I it's this big and it's a four wheel or it's, it's like, it's like a monster truck. Yeah. And it cost me six bucks. It's like a 50 or $60 car. Yeah. Wow. I paid six bucks for it and I haven't gotten it out yet. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to take a battery clinic <laughs> next week. So I'm gonna learn so, how to make this thing so faster. So there's a, there's a science to it. Like, run it up and down the house so, here. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> my gosh. We That'll get us kicked out. <laughs> so my routine. Yeah. You race on Saturdays. Yeah. All right. So Sunday through Friday, every day after work was RC cars. I literally would take motors. I'd buy like a a, a, a tray of motors. Yeah. And there'd be like 20 in a tray. I dyno every one of them. To see which one was more powerful. Because you don't want RPMs, you want amps. Right. The higher amp output it does, the faster the motor is. So it doesn't matter the RPMs. Because the motors that spin like 36,000 RPMs, 40,000 RPMs, that's irrelevant. If a motor was putting out eight amps or 12 amps or higher, 12 amps or higher, that's blistering fast that's what you want so when i dyno them then you take the brushes out i had a, a shaping tool for the brushes i had special brushes that you could change out you take the screws out solder the brushes in that minimizes the electrical loss did they right. do any kind of like inspections or anything to, did, to you do have tech inspections when i was the region three director i actually built the tech boxes for uh, the region three race carpet races that is so cool. So yeah, it was. Uh, I have learned something new today. You don't do anything halfway, do you? No, <laughs> no. We didn't, talk, first, we, man. we didn't. We didn't even talk about the, the, the sponsored tournament paintball team I was on. I did that for like eight years. What? Oh yeah, competition paintball. So lives of great. I love paintball. It's one yeah. of my favorite things. I was never sponsored, and I only played with my friends. But we went a lot. Oh yeah, and so. I still watch like paintball competitions. I still watch like YouTube. There, there is one right now that's on Instagram that's going around, and it's a guy that comes running and sliding in behind a thing. Yeah. And he's doing this with his gun, <laughs> and he's just rolling through the fingers. And I'm just like, oh my god! So he's lighting people up. 
when I got out of the Marine Corps in, in 90, probably around 93 is, is, when, I was in is when I started getting into paintball. High school. Because <laughs> I, I was needing something. And and back then, I mean, I had the leg brace. Yeah. Because you know, so, your knees were bad from jumping out of helicopter. Yeah, it was totally screwed. But I thought I could still maybe bring something. I mean, just got the Marine Corps. Yeah, you're, yeah. T it's tactical, man. It's all does not apply. It, <laughs> really, I wonder why. It's just running because paintball <laughs> kids are no, crazy. No, no. Because paintballs <laughs> don't technically fly straight. Right? No, they don't. They have a little bit of a weirdness to them. But anyway, it's the old so paint wiggle. The the knee brace that I wore had a patella cuff. You know, covered the whole knee. And it was a hard plastic cuff. So me being the, the the guy I am, I had you, you've seen you heard of Delron, mm -hmm. yeah. That you can mill it. Yeah. I had three Delron spikes made that I attached to this patella cup. No, you didn't. Oh. The center one was six inches long. That I had two that were three and a half inches long. So it made like a like this yes. on the on the knee. Right. That's not intimidating. So whenever we'd go to a tournament, I'd wear it and just walk around before the, the the matches would start and you know i'm full tactical you know paint everything and just people just look and it's just like <laughs> stay away from that guy <laughs> and people would come up and say dude what's up with the brace and be like <laughs> <laughs> and nothing been rent free right and what here. would they do nothing <laughs> exactly i love it i mean and it was so funny you know but, uh, you yeah. couldn't wear that while you were playing, though, could you? No. no. Okay, I, I didn't think so. I, I wore it once during practice yeah. at, for, at our home field. Yeah. And I knelt down, and the spikes went into the clay. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> It just fell over. And then got lit up. But I actually just got rid of my paintball guns probably about two years ago, three years ago, four, no, four years ago. That is hilarious, man. Because the last paintball gun, the one I just sold. All right, so is there anything else that you've done? I've done a lot. Well, we know that, but I mean, <laughs> is there anything that, <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> is there anything that you have done that you have gotten so deep into, like you have with paintball, RC racing, and toys, YouTube channel? Were you ever a PC gamer? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> but everybody was a PC gamer. <laughs> I'd give that up because that is like crack. It is cool. What are you talking about? I Everything mean, that you've listed so far is like crack. No, not I had compared 36 to gaming. cars and a trailer. Not, That's not, crack. A, not according to gaming, though. Gaming, man. I've seen marriages get. Oh yeah, from, I know. From gaming, I know. But I, I will say this though, that, and I'm gonna give some homage, you know, to, to my wife. I mean, she has literally supported me. It's incredible, in man. Yeah. Um, but she knows that whenever I do something, it's, it's yeah, you're going in. Yeah. It's not half-assed. Pardon my the friend. funniest thing we ever did paintball, we played up at uh, Knoxville at the uh, hockey arena. Yeah. Yeah. Paintball on ice. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a joy. I learned something about hockey rinks that day. It may look like it's smooth on TV. Uh-uh. That crap is rutted from those blades. Oh, yeah. And when you do a slide, Ooh. it cuts you. It hurts. <laughs> So you know? I, I used to go to Knoxville. I curled in Knoxville, yeah. you know. So I was on a curling team, me and my buddies. Explain and we would the go up there. I will. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things. I love watching It's one of my favorite things. I can't <laughs> wait. I wish we had an ice skating rink here because I would curl. I would I would get Greg to do it. Oh, yeah. Heck, I'd oh, get I'd you do to do it. I'd, I'd, need, do it. I'd need three other people besides me. Heck, yeah. So before a curling match, they take this little thing filled with water uh -huh. and it has a hose with this little paddle that has holes in it and they take that and they after they zamboni the ice they take that little thing and sprinkle it almost like they're watering flowers with this thing and it puts little tiny drops of water that instantly freeze on top of the ice oh, okay. and so the stone so the that you're throwing the they're running on the tops of that right. bubble of ice that's what you're sweeping, trying to get the friction to melt it so it slows down or, in some cases, speeds up the stone or directs it to where you want it to go. So 
we used to go and they would practice hockey before we would go. Yeah. And we'd go out there and head them, help them set everything up, pull everything off for, for the Zamboni. And those ruts that they make with those ice skates, man. They're deep. It is no joke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know how they actually can skate effectively. That's why they do after every period. Right, they, but I mean, during it. Yeah. I, mean, I know. Imagine your water skiing and the entire Think about lake all is waves. Exactly. <laughs> Think about right around the goal. Oh. And the crease where they're stopping and cutting and oh yeah, it's all tore up. I don't know how they do it. I don't even know how the puck even remotely continues to go in the same direction. Yeah, yeah, I know. Or or gets air on its own. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but it's crazy. But yeah, everything is like all in or Dad, nothing. I'm to this out. That's the that's that's probably my my worst. That's my Achilles, I guess. I mean, it's probably it's, it's one of my Achilles because right now it's like I need to I need to jump into the fact of getting rid of some of my toys instead of continuing to collect yeah. them because it's to the point to where now I'm like I'm a completionist to yeah. to a bad extent. I mean, there's some things that I know that I want to finish. I'm glad I'm not a completionist. So that's the hard part for me, man. It's tough. You know, there's not one single person lined up. What time is it? It is almost a quarter to. Nice. So, I hope this has been entertaining. It's amazing. We've oh, learned so much about Greg. Photography. Well, the, but I know you for photography. Yeah, but that was all, that was all in. I still remember the days I met Greg at Toys R Us. Man, was what a, a good time. Was so was I. That's when I first started getting into the Funkos. I remember I had the first always, time seeing her. And she was like, like a, this big. Yeah, but she's <laughs> like a groundhog, man. Oh, she yeah. was like pulling pops out. Best, I mean, best it's funny because before skills. Pops, I used to do the Black Series. I would have my characters that I, I wanted to collect. Hot Wheels really back then. I didn't start doing Hot Wheels till that guy made me angry. <laughs> Dipping into my Funko box when I asked for it. He goes, ooh, I'll take that, Chase. And I was like, uh, no, you won't. <laughs> yeah, I miss Toys R Us, too. Yeah. Me too, man. That, uh, was, that was a fun hour. Because we'd wait till the mall opened over there. Yeah, we would literally go through that entire store. It's we would been look an hour. at every pop, every. I mean, they had a NECA section that was oh, an entire yeah. wall. I, I mean, look at every toy. Every toy, man, we miss that, don't we? Mm. I mean, I would, literally, because they was. Oh, and Waffle House. Yeah, One, we would go two, to Waffle House for three, breakfast four, and then Toys uh, R Us every Saturday. I think it was Canada. what? Road trip to Canada. <laughs> Eight, of, Eight of us? Total? There would be a ton of us Me, there. Me, you, Josh. Josh, oh, Renfro, if you ever watch this show. Where are you at? We miss you, man. I need you to come uh, tile my bathroom. Then we had the two retirees. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the black guy and. Yep. I love them guys. Oh, yeah. Had man, those I forgot two. about those guys. That was the five regulars. We were always there. Josh was always there. Oh, Josh was the guy that was the ma everybody. he was the one that was scoring everything there yeah, for a long the time. time so do you remember when the toys r us and hickson was open yes so never went to it but i remember i used to go to it to buy video games for my oldest and one day i went and they were like clearance and everything i was like oh no the toys r us is closing and then all of a sudden it was gone and that's when i was like i guess i'm gonna have to start going to gun barrel so I started going to Gun Barrel Man, and that's when I, Pops just, I don't know what happened. I found a John Wick chase there, yeah. and I was like, it's on like Donkey Kong. That was and they the, always had a good, I mean, it was hard to find chases there. Oh, it was tough. But the selection yeah. was insane. And, yeah, that was like two hours. Oh. Oh, it was well, crazy, man. See, the yeah. beauty of, I can remember Phoebe having her stacks in the floor. Oh, yeah, she would build them walls of them <laughs> she would literally like the first three shelves he never had to bend over she'd get them all out and look at them all and was good at and would organize yeah we were really good about taking care of that place exactly i miss it i do too well guys i think we're going to wrap things up we're going to head over and uh we've been on for an hour and 14 minutes yeah yep. wait is that right yeah. yeah yeah hour and 14 minutes that's crazy Appreciate you guys hanging hey, out. Hey, Andrew, with us. how's it going? Um, Jared? Thanks yeah. for letting me sit in. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Thanks yeah, for the Andrew. thanks for yeah, the Batmobile. For, I saw those in my it's Batmobiles and their muscle cars. What's the dude's name? Um, Robert Pattinson. Yeah. He better not ruin I'm, it. Who's who's Gordon? 
Do we know? Ah, uh, that's the black guy with the mustache that's in the trailer. I can't remember I just, his name. I'll have to look. It ain't the guy who played on Ghostbusters, is it? Winston? No, 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 no. no, no. Was me in Westworld or something? I, I think, just, maybe? I think that's who it is. Maybe yeah. the guy from Westworld. I think that's yeah. who it is. I just. Hey man, I'm ready for another Batman. Yes. I've been watching the yeah, Batman animated series. I mean, series with I'm her okay with Batman. 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 It's just, I just don't know about him. Well, hopefully, it'll be good. Exactly. Would well, you know the crazy thing when you have an actor that's really just famous okay. for? Well, he's well, done other things. He since has, then. but you he don't. He's actually a really good actor. No, no, I'm not saying What's he's not a good actor. What's the movie with the elephants that was filmed here? I guess my big thing is when you're talking about <laughs> comic book characters. You know, I mean, hey, that's look. a. You know what people were saying before the first Batman? The same thing. Yeah. You're gonna Michael let this Keaton? Michael Keaton, this comedian dude, <laughs> I, I play mean, Batman? I don't He's really. The Joker? Come yeah. on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but guess what, man? That I'm, was I'm not saying, epic. But what I'm saying though is, well, you know as well as I do, when it comes to comic book Water movies, thanks. Water for Elephants. Uh, that was filmed here. In, when you like, when you come to Rossville, comic books, yeah, Marvel, DC, whatever, yeah, and you think about the characters, like. There's only Ryan's the only one's ever gonna be Deadpool. He's he's the only one could ever pull that character off oh, yeah, the yeah, way yeah. he did. I got you. You know, Hugh but Jackman, how many Batmans Wolverine, have we had? Like, so good. How many good Batmans have we had? Two, which are Michael Keaton and what's his face from Terminator. Terminator. Yeah, the new Terminator Revolutions. What's that guy's name? Revolutions. Whatever it's called. I don't know. Genesis. 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 Was the newest one. That's that's the one. He's in it. What's his name? Come on, not Ben Affleck, but the other guy. Val Kilmer and No, George not Val Clooney. Kilmer, not George Clooney. Oh, uh, The Dark Knight, Christian, man. Christian Bell. Christian Bale. He was not in Genesis. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Watch. Because Sarah Connor made her debut Not back that one, the one before that. The, well, Genesis is the newest one. Oh, well. That was terrible. Terminator Salvation. That's Salvation. it, Salvation, what did I say? Revolution, same thing. <laughs> Salvation, revolution. So to thing. me, Christian Bale is the better of the Batman. To me, after you know who is Christian Bale. He's the best Batman. But my then my favorite Batman was Batman Returns with George Clooney. No. Oh. The second. Michael oh, the Keaton. second Michael with, Keaton one. With oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was good too. You say good. That's Michelle. my favorite. <laughs> I will say That's this though: child. The Dark Knight's my favorite. Well, I love the Christian Bale one. That one with, yeah. uh, with, with uh, what's his face that's Bane. no longer with us? Heath no, no, no. Ledger. Heath Ledger. That Heath one was Ledger strong. was a freaking awesome Joker. It's a yes. great. That's just because he lived it was a the character. Fresh take, dude. It was. It was, it was a completely take. different take. So. <laughs> when, he, when he's sitting there, and you know the crazy part? There's one, there's one scene in it that actually everybody thought everybody thought it was a planned scene. The bomb. The bomb, yeah. When he's hitting the little clicker, and it wouldn't go. The pyro guys yeah. were late, and he literally just yeah. ad libbed that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Boom! And by the way, he's a good actor too. <laughs> he's a good actor too. The guy that played Bane. Oh, now he was in the last uh, Mad Max movie. Yes, he yeah. was. He is a good actor. Yeah, he is. Well, look how he many Pokemon are out here. That one where, I got an interesting. What's fact that one about where him? he's a drunk? And he fight and his and he's got brothers in there. I'll think oh, you talking fighter. about what is it with the fighter? Are you talking no. about when they're doing the moonshine? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, uh, Shiloh Bu Shiloh LaBeouf yeah. is in it. That yeah. movie is great. Oh, Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom. Hardy. That movie is awesome. That movie is crazy. I love that movie, and he is great in it. So he's also yeah. in. Um, well, he, he definitely did Bane Justice. Yeah. So I watch Venom Justice. He's done Venom Justice. He is. Um, I watch uh, Sneaky Blinders. Is that what like Peaky Blinders? Lawless. I, yeah. Lawless. Good movie. I watch Peaky Blinders. Yeah. And Tom Hardy is in Peaky Blinders. His character is awesome. I love it. Let's get out of here. Tom Hardy, Hardy as Dad. Batman. Catch them all. Ooh. Tom Hardy as Batman. You can't do that. He was Batman. Bane. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Let From, him do the Dark Knight Returns. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. guys. We're going to Hot Topic. Really enjoyed y'all hanging out with us. Thank you so much. Jared, thank, thank you. Me. Yes. Anytime. Thanks for the cars. Thanks for the uh, Grogu heads. Yeah, the uh, Grogies.
Yeah, they're grogies. <laughs> the plural of grogu is now grogies. Grogies. Guys, seriously, hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Hope y'all have a great rest of the weekend. Happy 4th of July to you all. Always remember, toys and good friends refreshes your soul and Phoebe's hand. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.